Hey guys, it's Reiner Blue Panda, and today we are going to be taking a look at the Lego Wonder Woman 1984 set. And may I just say that this set has terrible box art? Not that it doesn't look cool, it's just, it's terrible for marketing. No kid is going to walk into the store and going to be like, Hey mommy, I want this uh, weird golden Wonder Woman fighting some uh, cheetah lady or whatever. Um, anyways, now that that's out of the way... This set is recommended for ages 8 and up. It is set 76157, um, Wonder Woman vs. Cheetah. It has 371 pieces and retails for $40 in the United States. Flipping it around to the back, you have like a beautiful little sunset over a mountain with the giant antenna thing. Anyways, on to the minifigures. We're going to start off with Wonder Woman. And this is, in my opinion, the worst Wonder Woman to date. It just looks really funky. Like the... Um, what's it called torso and leg printing is fairly cool but once you turn around to the back and you see that huge gap with the hair coming out of the helmet like it's cool that they put it to where you could have hair on the wings but it's just so so dumb looking and i really don't like it i believe the face print is the same one from the collectible minifigure series and it's i guess it's nice that this is all done in a shiny reflective gold but oops besides that wonder woman is terrible Next up is Cheetah, and I don't really have anything against this figure, it's just that it's not very cool. Like, it's printing is fairly accurate, and it's detailed, it's just, I don't know, I don't care about Cheetah in any way. And she does have an angry face print. But, yeah, that's really all for Cheetah. Now, this is by far the best figure in the set. I don't even know his name, because the box doesn't tell me it, but I'm pretty sure it's a villain. And I'm just a sucker for, like, suits and tuxedos on Lego minifigures, and I love that hair piece and the nice brown. Um, like, I guess it's a very generic fig, but I just love it. I don't know. Um, yeah, and that's the Ant-Man slash Peter Parker face. Now, moving on to by far the best part of the set, the build. Um, just, wow, I'm lost for words. The rock work is absolutely beautiful all around on this set. And, like, you got some bushes on this side, which kind of covers the really nice rock work that they did on this side. I'm kind of bummed about the bushes, almost, even though it is a nice detail. Um, the solar panel is just insane. Like, like the, um, what would you call that? Reflective gold, I guess? Per pearl gold? I don't know what type of gold it is, but it's really nice. And those are all prints. I was nervous they were going to be stickers, and I would have literally died. If they were stickers. And on the back, I guess it's not so pretty. But, I mean, who looks at stuff from the back? That is just so, so cool. You have a little side area right here. Um, with, like, some just shrubs. And this little warning sign on whatever this is. Maybe it's like a power generator. I don't know. I don't know a whole lot about this set. I just think it looks cool. And this satellite is, like, over this weird bunker thing i don't even know what this is one flaw with the build though is these things are super super fragile they just get knocked out of place all the time um but this one is actually convenient for me to get knocked out of place because i can show you the little print that is there and it's just a minifigure hand like on a um, lock touch screen thing i don't really know what to call it but it's just a hand print i guess um there is no printing on the other one. There's this door here that says restricted access area. It's very hard for me to show you that in good light. I got some pretty messed up stickers on this set. They were all printed too high. I don't know if anyone else had that problem, but I certainly did. And if you turn around, turn the set around to the back, you'll see a little awkward looking knob. But if you spin that, it spins the antenna thing. So I guess it's cool um i don't see why you couldn't have just spun it like this and not had this weird looking knob thing but whatever i don't know if this is supposed to be something in the movie this blue glowing orb once the movie comes out maybe it will make more sense to me but right now it just looks pretty dumb and in there there is a uh like a united states symbol or so, I don't know what it's trying to represent, but that's just what it looks like to me. And there's little TV screens on either side. So, yeah, that's really all I have to say for this set. 
If you enjoyed, please like and subscribe for more set reviews, stop motions, all that sort of stuff. And uh, I guess I'm just rambling at this point, so bye!